Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to do the top three best drawing apps for iPad 2016. For Inktober, I did several drawings on the iPad and I used seven different drawing apps to draw in. I also tested out all of the drawing apps and here's the top three. Number three. Adobe Draw. I chose Adobe Draw because it is a vector based uh, drawing app and you can draw vectors with it. The great thing if you have Adobe Creative Cloud, you can get this app for free and otherwise it won't work. You can download it, but you're very limited in uh, the brushes and I think you cannot save your artwork. So this is a good app if you have Adobe Creative Cloud and you can also make your own brushes and import them into Adobe Draw. And I did this illustration for Inktober and I used the, the brush pen. And only thing is when you draw with this pen, you really need to ink fast. Otherwise the strokes will get a little bit too fat. And the interface is very simple, so you have a lot of screen estate to draw on. The brushes are a little bit limited, but you can you know, make your own brushes and import them into Adobe Draw. The resolution is not uh, really a thing because you're drawing everything in vector, so you can you know, make your drawing as big as you want. And you can, of course, you know, upload this to the Adobe Creative Cloud and then import it into Illustrator. Number two, Sketch Club. Sketch Club is a great app I have been using uh, for a while now. I did this illustration with uh, sketching because it has some great brushes and the interface is very uh, open. So you have enough screen estate and you can choose from a, a variety of brushes there are not that many but the brushes that are in the app are uh, very good you can adjust the pressure sensitivity by 200 percent if you're drawing with an apple pencil or an other pressure sensitive stylus which is great and there are also other features for drawing and you can also choose circle or line or rectangle and that's nice you know to use i didn't use it in this illustration but you can also draw um, with uh, mirror images all the tools you need to have are on the screen you can adjust the size of your brush and the opacity of your brush and can also rotate and pinch and zoom it also gives a percentage of your rotation and your zoom so you already know what percentage you're drawing in the highest resolution you can draw in uh, is 4096 by 4096 and then you have six layers to draw in and number one procreate Procreate is the best drawing and painting app you can work in on an iPad or on an iPad Pro with Apple Pencil. The interface is very intuitive and everything you need you have right on your hands and uh, you have a lot of screen estate you can work in. Zoom in and rotation works perfect and the pressure sensitivity with the Apple Pencil is unparalleled. It's the best experience and, you know, it's even better than drawing on a Wacom Cintiq because the, the Apple Pencil is very sensitive, but the developers of Procreate have worked together with Apple to get the most out of the Apple Pencil. You have a large range of brushes you can work with and you can also create your own custom brushes. And for this illustration, I made my own ink brush and also uh, the washes I'm doing later. I also made uh, a special uh, wash ink for this illustration. And the plus features are that you can broadcast from this app and you can also record uh, the screen you're working in. 
you can adjust all the layers and um, you now can work with groups and also with primary and secondary layers so you can select several layers at the same time you can uh, adjust your drawings and scale them up or uh, cut them out and copy and paste them in uh, a new layer the resolution you can work in in procreate is the biggest of all drawing apps it's 8190 by 8190 pixels so you can also work on an a2 poster at 300 dpi there's just a lot of options you can use to make your art uh, great. Procreate has a great community and the app is updated regularly. To me, it's just the best drawing and painting app you can work in. It may not come as a surprise that Procreate ended up as the best drawing app of 2016. I really want to know what kind of drawing app you prefer and what kind of drawing app is your favorite drawing app of 2016? Please let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!